Okay, good. So I'll I'll guide the traditional meta. And then the goal in this meta session will be to really get a sense for meta mind. Because when we move into the open awareness uh, and, and kind of interpenetration of meta and open awareness part of the retreat, we'll not want to have any thought objects. So it'll be very calm, very spacious, and there'll be room for meta mind there won't as much be room for the busyness of the traditional way of doing that. Although once we get into that section of the class, it's totally fine to just come back and do the traditional form of meta. So either is fine. Okay, good. So we'll, we'll, we'll actually only do about 30 minutes so that we can get back on schedule. Straightening up. Pushing the crown of the head up towards the ceiling and then settling in. And we will do our chanting first. So inhale the hands to heart center. And Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Sama Inhale deeply. Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Sama Sambuddha. Inhale deeply. Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Sama Sambuddha. Okay, and now into the formal meta practice. So here I would encourage anyone who does not want guidance to simply mute the computer. And those that want guidance, I'll run us through the traditional series of, we'll call it somewhat busy metta. Straightening up the posture, pushing the crown of the head up towards the ceiling. The posture should be still and firm and all that, but not too firm for a heart practice. And now go ahead and smile. Smiling with the body and the mind. Smiling with the face and the rest of the body as well. And now think of seeing a friend you haven't seen in 10 years. And your friend is overjoyed to see you. And you are overjoyed to see him or her. Oh, you're so happy. And they are so happy. And you notice this quality of the mind that wants to receive and take in the friend. You can imagine your pupils dilating because you want to take in more of what you see. It's your friend and you're so happy to see him or her. And he, and he or she is so happy to see you. And then just naturally, the desire that he be happy, he or she be happy. May you be happy. May you be happy. So in this more form version of metta, we can say our mantra, may you be happy. And we can see our friend, see our friend looking at us, connecting with us, eye contact. Maybe you're even imagining like a pat on the back or a hug. Oh, may you be happy. So we'll just stay with this for a minute or two.
smiling, seeing your friend, hearing your friend, feeling your friend. Inhabiting this meta mind. Now letting that go and moving on to a mentor. Someone who has selflessly helped you, guided you. You see your mentor, you make eye contact. Your mentor is so happy to see you. You're so happy to see your mentor. May you be happy, may you be happy. May you be happy. And now let's go to the self. So you can do this in a more simple form, or if you want to, you can do the kind of inner child version. So you split yourself into an adult self and a child self, and you wish your child self happiness. Again, just to look your child self in the eyes brings a big smile. May you be happy. 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 And now we're going to go on to a loved one, someone you love, but you can have a complicated relationship with this person. It's not a problem. We're going to try to generate matter towards them in spite of the ambiguity that we sometimes feel with all of our loved ones. 
So think of your loved one. And for them to lay eyes on you is, is for them to smile and vice versa. You're so happy to see them. You smile. You feel the smile on your face, in the body and in the mind. You use your mantra. May you be happy. May you be happy. And whatever works for you, you're taking ownership for your own practice and modifying as you see fit. And now we'll move on to another loved one. Smiling. Okay, then moving on to a third loved one. Okay, now we're gonna go on to a neutral person. Maybe a jogger in your neighborhood, a postal clerk, your the teller at the bank, maybe somebody on TV, someone you don't know too well. You smile when you see them, they smile when they see you. 
And we see how there's a, an unconditional loving kindness, an unconditional friendliness and receptivity due to simply being in the mind state of metta. We don't know this person. And here we're starting to see the mental state a bit clearer. And then thereby general, uh, developing a, a subtlety and a sensitivity to mental states as such. May you be happy. May you be happy. And you can feel the reciprocation. This neutral person that you don't know well also wants you to be happy. May you be happy, may you be happy. Okay, and we'll let that go. Now we'll move on to an enemy. Again, we can really see how the mental state is independent from mental objects. So think of your enemy and firstly reflect on how your enemy only wants happiness and how you only want happiness, how your enemy has occasionally taken unskillful actions to become happy and how you have to, and that all of this is totally understandable And how, yes, you hurt because of what your enemy did, but your enemy is just like all beings. He, he or she wants to be happy. So you wish them happiness. And now also, as you're coming into this state of metta mind, notice how you suffer less. Notice how there's a wisdom in not suffering just because your enemy did something bad to you. But also if you suffer, you're not totally at fault, it's natural. And into the metta. You see your enemy, he or she is smiling sweetly, not in an evil way. And your enemy's happy to see you, you're happy to see your enemy. And there's this unconditional wish that they be happy because they're not different from you or from anyone else. May you be happy. May you be happy. And you're smiling in the body, on the face, and in the mind. May you be happy. May you be happy.
Okay, good. So now we'll move into the geographic version of Metta. We're gonna start with ourselves. So get a notion for yourself. You wish yourself wellness and peace. May I be happy. And feel that joy and bliss. There's also this coolness, this evenness, this openness, this friendliness. May I be happy. May I be happy. May I be happy. May I be happy. And now, may all beings in this room be happy. May all beings in this building be happy. May all beings in this city be happy. May all beings in this state or province be happy. May all beings in this country be happy. You're noticing the meta, the meta mind expanding out and out, more and more boundless. And now may all beings in the whole world be happy. Again, this boundlessness is opening the spreading out. Now may all beings throughout space and time be happy. So we're gonna to try to keep this infinitely expanded out sense of metta. And if you're struggling with this and would prefer to go back to one of the series, going through the loved ones, neutral party, etc., or the geographic version, you can use the next eight minutes to do that. But if you'd prefer to just stay in this formless, open quality of metta, then do that. I'll let you know when, when the time is up.
you're doing the formless open form of metta, you can keep the mantra going or you can drop it either way. Okay, so we'll start wrapping up the meditation. But before we do, just go ahead and drop the technique, loosen up and relax the body. And now look at the mind itself. Noticing the openness, friendliness. Unconditional receptivity of the mind. 
open awareness, the natural state. Okay, good. So may this practice work through us in such a way that others benefit as well.